Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. And yes, this is what we're here to talk about today. The Shapeshifters promo is here. I don't know if you can see it on the loading screen, but this looks pretty awesome. This looks pretty awesome. It's kind of like foot birthday kind of concept from last year. I'm actually gonna back out and go back in so we can see that screen one more time. Cause There's a little bit of hits, hints in here with this loading screen, but basically what I'm gonna talk about in this video today is the shapeshifters promo what does it mean what's going to be happening today are there ways we can make coins and what can we look out for notice these cards are all about position change with like their original position inside the circle with the position change and some of the stats too so there have been some guesstimations there have been some edits of people who are trying to, to decide to see which players could be you know made out from that loading screen uh, and this is the first thing I want to show you guys today. When we start to talk about this new Shape Shifters promo, this is what some people are thinking. This is this is from Hyena GFX on Twitter. Uh, he's put Ben Yedder, Marcelo, and Zaha in here as the players that could possibly be represented by the loading screen statistics. So this looks pretty awesome, right? We love a good position change. Whenever they do position change promos or position change cards for whatever reason, it just makes squad building, it gives it a whole new twist, right? And there's a lot more opportunities and there's a lot more possibilities when they do things like this. So these are some cards we could be looking forward to today with the Shapeshifters promo. And basically what it looks like is it's just going to be a team of position changes. I'm guessing maybe it has something to do with um, like stat changes based on their position as well. Like the best example I have for you guys is looking at last year's foot birthday, right? Because this to me almost was like a shape shift promo. This was all position changes um, for most of these players. It was a position change in what their base card is or what their normal card is. And some of these cards last year, I guess you could say got shape shifted. So I think this is our best example of kind of like a, what can we look out for today? Uh, for the content at 6 p.m. UK. What are we going to be looking out for? And I think this kind of summarizes it. Here's a Marcelo card. Obviously, if you look back at this, Marcelo center attacking mid. Marcelo was a right mid last year. This card was absolutely juiced last year. Tons of people loved it. And it's, again, a really cool position change when they boost the cards that like the shooting. Like, he got plus 17 shooting from his base card and plus 10 pace. So it makes him a pretty good right wing, right mid type of card again that's what this whole team was made up of last year for foot birthday that's why i'm using it as a comparison right now striker version of van dyke who doesn't like that right so the 88 rated he gets plus 26 shooting and plus 10 pace so they give him a pace boost and a shooting boost that you could actually maybe uh kind of play him as striker and then obviously we had like a striker um Sergio Ramos as well, which was cool. Left back Mo Salah with a boosted defense. A CDM Koulibaly. Uh, what else was really cool from this? A striker Bale is nice. A Cam Coutinho. We obviously had that this year. Um, and a lot of other position changes from like outside backs into center backs, right? So Kyle Walker is a right back. Gets moved to center back. Um, Theo Hernandez got moved from a left back to a center back. All these cards last year, were uh, they were awesome. They were pretty big hits in foot. And again, the biggest thing is the big time stat upgrade and the changes to put in the position is what makes these cards desirable and people want to use them on this game of FIFA Ultimate Team. So shape shifters position changes. What does this exactly mean for what's going to happen on the market today? Well, if we go ahead and look at a lot of prices today, a lot of stuff is kind of chilling downwards, right? If we're going to be getting brand new cards on this game this week, what's that going to do to the market? Well, obviously we've gotten used to this over the past couple of weeks and just the, the way they've been operating in FIFA 20, they put a new promo team out almost every week. Look at this. We're going to look through all the team of the weeks and team of like the new teams that they put out in FIFA. Look at all these promo teams. We got a winter refresh. We're getting a promo team every single stinking week. Ever since uh, the new year, we got headliners. We have had future stars. We've had winter refresh. And now we're going to have shapeshifters. So again, it's going to be a new team of promo cards and it's going to be you know, new cards that people can go out and use in foot, which is going to probably adversely affect cards in past team of the weeks that people are using in squads, right? The whole aim for EA here and the whole aim uh, for why they're doing these promos is to put new cards in the game, which makes people sell these other cards, lose coins on them because they're constantly going down in value. 
and then going and buying the new ones and losing coins on those later on when they put out new content. It's just kind of that repeatable cycle, and that's what happens in foot. So watch for some of these cards and watch for a lot of the market to be kind of panic sold into uh, into like 6 p.m. UK today. As you can see, the market rose after rewards on Thursday, dropped down a little bit upon the loading screen and the content coming out in foot. Uh, and I think you're going to see a little bit more of, I guess, what you could call panic selling or selling of cards and dropping prices as we head into uh, the promotion today. I want to talk about these icon moments for a second as well. But again, let's talk about some shape-shifting cards that we could see in today's promo. I mean, if you think about the foot birthday squad from last year that we were just looking at, they threw random guys like Van Dyke, right? They threw random guys like Van Dyke and they just gave him a striker card. Obviously, Van Dyke is a very hyped up, very popular card that people use on this game of FIFA. So it kind of makes sense for them to put a very popular player in a position change, which makes sense when we see the loading screen and it looks like a striker that is French is going to be moving to right wing. Well, we kind of, we have, we only have a few options, right? Who is a French striker then on their base card that could be moving to a right wing with the stats that they had up there it's got to be ben yetter so i would expect to see a right wing ben yetter card well, what does that mean something you could think about a little bit is that ben yetter wants to watch could be upgrading so that's something you could think about is not possibly an investment because these cards are still they're not in packs technically but they're in the sbc packs but this could be very interesting if the ben yetter wants to watch does get an upgrade uh because he gets a right wing Actually, no, the, the ones with the one swatch upgrade. I don't know. I don't think the ones to watch would upgrade because it's not a performance based upgrade. It's not an inform. It's not a man of the match. So I don't think the ones to watch would actually upgrade. So never mind. Disregard that thought as I was processing that. Uh, yeah, but I do think Ben Yetter could be getting the right wing card. Of course, if Marcelo, uh, it, it has to be Marcelo, right? Getting that uh, the center attack and mid card. What is that going to do? Uh, center attack in mids in La Liga, probably going to drop as long as the stat boosts are good. Brazilian links up at the top, you know, guys, um, other Brazilian strikers. I'm trying to think of maybe like a Coutinho left wing. Some people would want to use with a Marcelo, um, other Brazilian links, especially like an Arthur. If you did that moments SBC, maybe this is a guy you link to him if you did that. So there's the possibilities are honestly endless for what cards could come today with the shapeshifter promo. So that, that's one of the things that I wanted to mention with you guys is when we get this promo today, the possibilities for whoever they put into this team are honestly, it's pretty endless, right? They can throw almost anybody they want into the squad uh, for, whatever's, for whatever people are gonna make them coins, whatever's gonna sell packs, not make coins, whatever's gonna sell packs on this game is what EA is gonna wanna do with the promo today. They're going, they're going to put cards in packs that sell, that are popular, that are going to make people want to open the lighting rounds uh, and try to get these new cards. Card design is just released. We're looking at it at the moment. I'm okay with it. It's just different. It's kind of new, right? I wasn't really expecting anything like this. It's just, it's just kind of different and, and just kind of new. So again, what EA's plan and what EA is going to be doing today is releasing a whole new set of promo cards onto the game, onto this market to make people panic sell their old ones, to go buy the new ones. And that's kind of how promos work in FIFA Ultimate Team, right? And we're starting to get used to seeing these promos week after week after week. So hopefully we get good content alongside of the cards being in packs because that is also what makes for a good promotion, right? Uh, speaking of content, I want to talk about the content that we got today. We'll actually save that for the end of the video uh, on Thursday's content. But then I also want to look at what kind of market movements can you guys be expecting for the Shapeshifters promo today. I think we just got a sale as well. We will take that. Thank you. Um, number one thing you can you can expect today from the Shapeshifters promo is promo packs. You got it exactly. Winter refresh cards are going to go out of packs. That means they will no longer be available in here. But I guarantee you, 6 p.m. UK comes today. There's going to be lightning rounds at 6, 7, and 8 p.m. UK for these new cards. And what does that mean? That means supply for the market. What other cards are in packs right now that we need to be worried about? Their prices changing. I first want to look at this week's team of the week because right now there's probably some guys in this team of the week that you might be interested in. And these cards are already pretty low in my opinion. Uh, Party and Milinkovic Savage, both at 30,000 coins as 86 rated cards. Uh, Maguire is basically SBC fodder. There's a lot of this team of the week that is SBC fodder. And there's going to be an opportunity to get on some bids for this stuff and to club stock some of these cards because they're just going to get too low. Obviously, we have Sun, Dybala, 
Pepe and Neuer are kind of the most desirable players from this team of the week. Not a very good team of the week, but if you're somebody who wants this Sun card in your team, obviously he's going to be out for a long time due to injury. Take a look at this card during lighting rounds. I would say Friday and Saturday night. Uh, you know, in that time frame, you're probably going to see some panic selling on the Dybala on the Sun as we lead into the promo, as we lead into the promo packs today. Uh, but you're going to see these cards prices go down over the weekend just because they're going to get packed so much during those lightning rounds. Other cards that are in packs, and I want to—I really want to talk about these because these prime icon moments, they are not as rare on the market as we had originally thought. And I want to take a look at some graphs really quick. I posted a tweet today during um, Week in League Rewards period, which by the way, I had an insane poll for my Week in League Rewards. I will show you guys at some point in the video too, the players in my squad. Um, but this Mateus is a prime example, right? Uh, if we actually, if we actually go on to uh, last year, we will go generations. We'll go to FIFA 19 Mateus, and I want to show you the difference between 94 Mateus this year and 94 Mateus last year. Basically, the exact same card stats are almost identical, apart from a few small differences. And I want to show you the difference between FIFA 19 icon moments and FIFA 18 icon moments and how this relates to the market today. Last year, Prime Icons Mateus comes out. Prime Moments Mateus comes out in February 15th. The man is 7 million coins for the first week that he's in packs. The second week that he's in packs, he drops down to about 5.3 million coins, right? He's 5 million coins after the second week that he is in packs. Let's take a look at FIFA 20 Mateus. FIFA 20 Mateus enters the market at 9 mil first day. He's down to 6 mil. And what, hap what has happened since then? We have had these cards in packs for one week, and he has already 4.2 million coins. So instead of being, he's basically a million coins cheaper. No, that's, that math is off. After a week last year, he was still 7 mil. He's already dropped down to 4.2 mil. He's 2.5 million coins cheaper than he was last year after one week. These cards are so much more attainable than we would have ever imagined. These prime icon moments actually have pack weight. You can actually pack these cards, and I am a prime example of that. Today, in my Division Rivals Rewards, I was able to pack for myself a first owner, untradeable, 91 rated moments Makalele. And I was absolutely shocked and stunned when I saw it come out. I opened my packs on mobile. My weekend league rewards, my dev rivals rewards. I was stunned when I saw this. I couldn't believe it. But I went around Twitter and I saw more people were packing these cards. I wasn't the only one. So I think these cards are actually decently packable. And you saw saw that by their uh, drops in price this week. I'm really excited to try that card out. I mean, it's it's pretty insane to have Conte untradeable. Conte untradeable with right next to him Makalele untradeable. So that is pretty freaking dope. I guess you could call it red list, whatever you want to call it. Um, but I got lucky with that today, right? But even speaking of Makalele, last night before Weekend League Rewards, literally an hour or two before Weekend League Rewards came out, this Makalele card was 2 million coins. He is now down to 1.7. I can actually go on Footbin and show you he was 1.5 million coins earlier today. These cards are getting packed a decent amount. And that's why I want you guys to be very, very careful with these. If you have any in your team, any of them, let's say you have Nakata, for example, you're trying out uh, Nakata for your squad. Be very, very careful with this card, right? He's right around 1.1 million coins right now. But I saw this guy get packed a ton today, right? And with lightning rounds being opened, nothing else is going to change. These cards are going to get packed. They're going to get packed even more. And these icon moments prices are going to continue to drop over this weekend as people pack these cards because yes, they're icons, but they're coming onto a mar the market a lot faster than a lot of us would have ever anticipated just because of their supply, right? Let's take a look at one more card and the drops that they have had. Marco Van Basten, 1.79 million coins. What was he yesterday before rewards? 2 million coins before rewards. What happens? Boom. Instantly down to 175. So he drops 300,000 coins in a blink. And what was he on Wednesday, the day before that? The man was like 2.2. He was 2 mil to 2.2 mil all day. So these cards are getting packed. These cards are getting supplied. So if you want, you can mess around with these cards. It's going to be an opportunity to trade, right? These are also very new cards to the game. You're going to have to take a risk with them because if they put out a six set of shapeshifter cards, you might see some of these cards take a hit in price, right? This Owen card is somebody who I know fluctuates a ton. 
He was 1.2 million coins this morning. He went all the way back up and was selling at 145. So we had a 200,000 coin price swing. If they put out another English striker tomorrow, let's say they position change Raheem Sterling and give him an insane, insane stat boost, you might not see this card drop that much, but it could be a little bit less demand. You know, just just kind of saying that's the substitute method, right? When another item comes out of the game that is as better or just as good and can take the place of an item that is currently there, that's called a substitute item. And that could make other items that are those substitutes drop as people go and try the new ones. So regardless, I would be very careful with the prime icon moments and other high tier cards. And that's why you're going to see a lot of panic selling, right? Because a lot of you guys are going to watch this video. And I'm not encouraging you to go panic sell, but let's say you, again, we use the Sterling example. Let's say they make uh, a Sterling center attack in mid card, right? And I don't have any leaks or anything. I'm just shouting out random names, Raheem Sterling. Let's say that he gets himself a, um, a center attack in mid card. How much is this Mason Mount right now? Is he 200K or am I off by 100K? I'm off by, no, I'm not. He's 240,000 coins for this Mason Mount right now, right? 240. Let's say they give Sterling a center attack in mid card. There's going to be people on this game that go and sell this mount at the site of that Sterling and because they want to try the new Sterling, right? And that's the way things work on this game. So that you're going to see some selling in the morning. I'm in pretty liquid shape right now with my coins. Um, if I sold everything on my transfer list, I would probably have somewhere around like 2.8, 2.9 mil. I did do some trading today. Some of these were L's. This was like a break even. I actually lost on tax. I lost a little bit on tax on this. I lost tax on that actually, but I made I made it back between these two cards right here. And then this one made me go into the profit. So you know what? You're going to take some L sometimes. Trading with these icon moments is risky and they get packed a ton. So uh, that's, that's what I wanted to say about those icon moments is that they're going to get packed today during lightning rounds. Everything else is going to get packed as well, right? Everything else that is in packs. You're going to have the high rated gold supply. 86s right now are still chilling at like 14, 15,000 coins because uh, there's not really any SBCs that are out that are that a lot of people want to do. We get a Neymar Player of the Month SBC today, and it's not really driving these 86s up because a lot of you guys invested in these. Um, but EA did not put out a very desirable SBC. However, if you still are holding on to these high rateds, which I would I would say please do, don't go and do this Neymar Player of the Month. I don't think it's worth it because you can just go out and buy his gold card if you really want to for way less coins than what this player of the month upgrade is i mean you have to turn in like 2.2 2.3 million coins worth of of uh of cards into this and you get untradeable packs back all right you do get a 50k pack and but the packs are just they're okay and half of them are, are untradeable so that's an l in my opinion if you're somebody who really wants an end game neymar card in your squad for the rest of the year then yes, you can go for it. But I just can't justify spending 2 million coins on this Neymar. You might as well just go buy like the team of the year nominee version, or you might as well just go buy the inform uh, or wait till team of the season when uh, Neymar is going to be way, way, way cheaper or just buy the gold. So that's that would be my suggestions for you guys with that. Um, but that did not rise. The high rated uh, SBC fodder uh, market, like these guys right here, these cards are not rising right now in this game because there's just really not that many SBCs that are desirable for that people want to do. And they're not repeatable SBCs like that winter refresh guaranteed. If that was a, if that SBC was like a repeatable one, you might see more people doing that. And then these cards would be going up in price. One thing I also want to talk about is so many people have invested in these high rated golds that I think that Neymar came today and they just held onto their cards because, or they sold their cards and that's not making the prices rise. 89s are up a little bit, which is interesting. Uh, what about 90s? And 90s are actually up a little bit too. 46K for Ter Stegen. Oblock is at 60K. So some of those guys at the very top tier range are up a little. Uh, if you if you actually have Oblocks, if you have Ter Stegens, I might take the coins before lighting rounds today. That's just uh, something that I might do. But 84s, 85s, 86s, they're gonna stay low until we get more desirable SBCs from EA Sports. Uh, but again, you're going to see those cards packed today. You're going to see lightning rounds today. Hopefully a new player SBC, hopefully a new objective, and hopefully a sick promo team from EA Sports because at the moment, the game is being carried by their promos. Uh, and this last week of Winter Refresh was pretty abysmal in my opinion. I think the Winter Refresh promo can be actually compared to on par with the um, 
Scream promo. I'm honestly going to say it. I think the Winter Refresh, Refresh promo was just as bad as the Scream promo. The only thing that really saved it was that these cards are actually upgraded and they're actually decent cards that we can use. And we did get a guaranteed Winter Refresh player pack, which is not repeatable. You can only do it once, but at least we got a pack for a guaranteed player, which is it's overpriced, uh, but it is what it is. And we at least got this SBC for a guaranteed Winter Refresh player. So I would expect SBCs today. I would expect uh, probably an objective and then a new promo squad in packs which could be very interesting for this next week. Again, this week's promo is going to take us into that Conmebol Libertadores uh, stage at the beginning of March. So this week's promo is technically a new one, but it's also going to be similar to Foot Birthday, I think, in my opinion. So we will see what happens today with FIFA 20 Ultimate Team and the Shapeshifters promo. If you enjoyed this video, smash a thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe to the channel if you are new. It's been Nate, the Foot Accountant. Catch you guys later. Peace out.